Hey guys, I've got a 2016 Skoda Rapid Petrol and this one came as a non-starter and it's leaking fuel. So I made a short video as well. Uh, as you can see, this is the rail and there is the injector and it's leaking from there. So today I'll be showing you guys how we can get to that and replace the seals. And there's a few things that needs to be taken off. And we've ordered the seal kit from Volkswagen for this particular car. As you can see, it comes as three seals. And once we've got it off, we need to see which one and which part needs replacing. I've removed the air filter, the pipe that goes from the throttle body into the turbo. And there's one air pipe, which is this one, the fresh air pipe. Good idea to take a picture when there's a lot of pipes that needs to be taken off. Because later, when you come back to it, uh, you can see where uh, which pipe goes where. At this stage, I've tried my best to uh, get access to the manifold, so I've moved the coolant pipes out of the way. I've taken the throttle body off because you can't get to these uh, breather pipes. And you need to be extra careful with these uh, plastic pipes because they're very flimsy and it's very easily uh, broken. So I've also taken this coolant pipe off and put a uh, small extension at the end because it was leaking fluid. And I've only got one bucket. Hey guys, so I've just managed to get the manifold out the way, so you don't need to take it off completely, you just need to move it out the way a little bit. As you can see, that's the rail, and if I show you closely here, the, bra the rail bracket screw is loose, that's why the injector has popped out a little bit and hence why it's leaking. So we'll have to replace the seals anyway and we'll put Loctite on the screws to make sure it doesn't come out in the future. And to take that off, there's a couple of screws at the top and there's one screw that holds this coolant pipe there, which is another T30. And there's one or two pipes, one pipe coolant pipe that goes here. And as soon as you disconnect them, it should just move out of the way and it will give you enough space to work. Okay, so I've taken all the injectors out. As you can see, this seal is broken on the injector number one. So we'll have to replace all the seals on all four injectors. And there you go. So I've managed to put all the seals on. I put rubber grease on all of them. And you have to make sure the surface is clean. As I was putting the T30 back on, it broke, uh, which means it's gone brittle and it's gone weak over the time. So instead of that, I put a 10 mil screw to hold the rail in place. Okay, so I've managed to put everything back together and just double checking everything to make sure all the pipes, all the sensors, all the connectors are on. And this is the final stage. We're just starting the car to make sure there's no leaks and you have to just leave it running for a few minutes uh, just in case it starts leaking again. I have left the car running for over 10 minutes now, there's no signs of any leaks, so that's it for today's video, hope you guys found this video helpful, if you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more, thank you.